Hey guys, Woody here, and today we're packing for drum corps. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about um, first year marchers maybe, or maybe even vets, wondering uh, what all to pack. They're pretty overwhelmed with uh, going away for the entire summer and um, not really knowing how to get all the essentials of what you might need for a few months uh, into the one bag or a um, couple of bags that you're gonna take with you on tour. It's a big deal. Uh, so for some of you, it's maybe your first time um, leaving your hometown or your, your state and going uh, away from home for this extended amount of time, it can be very overwhelming. Uh, I know in 2015, it was pretty overwhelming for me. Um, so pretty much you just, I'll go through it with you. Every core has like a suggested um, packing list. Make sure you follow that. Um, they're gonna have pretty much along uh, the same stock uh, packing list as pretty much every other core, honestly. They may have a few um, specific items that you may need for your rehearsals or some, whatnot, but otherwise it should be pretty much the same. So I guess with that, we'll go ahead and jump right in and get started. So I guess we'll go ahead and get started right here uh, with the rehearsal essentials. So I always wear a watch. It's always good to know the time. I usually, you can't go wrong with the, uh, the Timex um, Iron Man. Uh, I love these watches. I have two of them actually. It's great. Plus you can get a pretty solid watch tan from them. Uh, two pairs of sunglasses. I also have a little sunglasses case. Um, I always get polarized. Those are really nice. Uh, really blocks the sun well. Uh, never have a problem with them. These are more um, rehearsal glasses. These are more of like a hey free day or laundry block glasses. You need your binder uh, typically with all your music and stuff in it. Uh, I always get page protectors. Don't don't just try and poke poke holes in the paper. They'll go flying everywhere, and then it's just not a good time. Um, I have two baseball hats. Got to represent the good old college band there. Uh, this hat was my 2015 tour hat as well. Inside of that, and you can see how the sun faded that, took its toll. And then I also have this visor. You don't want to get too, uh, you want to get tan on your head or just wear a visor and keep your head cool. Uh, I always carry a visor with me as well. So three head wears. Um, I always have a uh, handkerchief or bandana, whatever you want to call it with me. These are very versatile items. You can just have these with you at all times. You can put it around your face to protect your lips. You can put it on your head to protect your uh, your head, your uh, anything. They, they are so useful. Um, in fact, I actually bought uh, the entire Scouts trumpet line this year, all of these same bandanas because they're so very useful. They're only a dollar at Walmart, very cheap. You got your gloves. Uh, different cores are gonna have different regulations on what gloves you need to buy. For us, um, this is gonna work. Just the white gloves. They're not too expensive, just whatever. And I have some old gloves here, maybe just rehearsal gloves. Uh, your fanny pack, that's going to hold your dot book. Uh, if you guys do it that way, different cores do it different ways. But I have my name on it. I, I love the American flag scheme. I, lo I love it. So that's what I use. Um, it's just a normal fanny pack. It can be lightweight, comfortable, has a couple different pouches on it. You can put your uh, dot book in there. You can put some pencils in there. You know, just to carry around with you for um, rehearsal. Uh, then you have, you know, a lot of this stuff is uh, required for scouts, so you may not do it the same, but that's fine. Uh, we have these little black towels for our, to set our horns on. We have two pencils, usually I carry two pencils with me in my backpack, our breathing tube, metronome and tuner, uh, and the backpack. That's going to that's gonna go with us everywhere we go uh, for rehearsals, everywhere. Like, this is our life, like, everything goes in that thing. From this, I have a carabiner up here that I hook on my water jug. I'll get into that in a second. And this is what I put my black towel on so it's easy uh, to uh, access, uh, easy to get out, go, go from rehearsal to rehearsal, wherever you, what have you, doesn't matter. It's easy to get to. Uh, it has multiple pouches. Uh, nothing, nothing expensive. I think I got this from Walmart. Pretty cheap. Um, just something easy. Uh, black just goes with everything so that's why it's black. Your water jug. Your core will probably tell you which water jugs to get. For us, it's the red Coleman jug with a white lid. Uh, or drum cores, it does the same thing. Uh, my nickname is Woody, obviously, so Woody on there. Um, these are great. I love these. Same one I used in 2015. They're great. Uh, tons of mechanical pencils. You can't, they just kind of go missing sometimes. I have some, so if anyone in the section needs one or anyone needs a pencil, tons of pencils. It's great. Tour journal. Real quick, I'm going to go into this. Uh, I kept a tour journal in 2015, and let me tell you, I, I am so glad I did. I would regret it if I didn't. It keeps all of those memories uh, that you may forget by the end of the season. It keeps them all in one place. It's great. 
keep a journal every day you're on tour. Where you're at, maybe if it's, if it's just where you're at or how you're feeling that day or what you did, just keep it simple, but it's, it's always good to have a tour journal. All right, we're gonna go on the subject of free day clothes. Now, you need one pair of boxers. Doesn't matter, I tell you, I didn't wear boxers all of uh, 2015 pretty much. I think I wore them maybe once uh, because you wear section shorts and I mean, it depends on what core you're in, but for scouts, I, you, I've only I'd never, I don't know, I've only ever used like one pair. So one pair of boxers is gonna set you good. To, otherwise it just takes a space. About a pair, maybe two pairs max of just khaki, plain khaki shorts. Uh, goes with anything. Um, I just have a few selections of uh, shirts here. I have a cutoff tank top here, just for whatever, maybe sleeping in. I have a scout shirt to represent scouts. I have my Superman shirt, and I have my Power Ranger shirt there. So those can be used for post show or whatever. Um, these are my free day shirts or post show shirts. They're just little short sleeve button ups. Got your American flags and fireworks. That'll be great for Fourth of July. I have this one that just is this kind of Hawaiian looking shirt. Eh, like five bucks at Walmart. Very cheap, very effective. Yeah, it's nice to have. Um, we have our section shirt here. Nice long sleeve shirt here. Uh, a hoodie. I didn't really use one in 2015, but I bring one just in case. Just one is fine. Um, <clears throat> off that subject, uh, laundry. La you'll have laundry blocks spread out through the summer. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to take this bare, but you can kind of see all those change and monies in there. Uh, quarters. You got to have quarters for um, the laundry blocks. Also, you got to have a bag to hold all your dirty laundry in. Now, it's not going to be that much because all you're wearing is black shorts for scouts anyway. Black shorts and white t-shirts. And you rarely ever wear a t-shirt. So, for girls, I assume it's going to be different. But being in an all-male core, I wouldn't know. So, uh, this will hold all your laundry. Uh, there's two options I see for washing. You got your Tide Pods there. Uh, that's what I used in 2015. Can't complain. Worked great. Uh, then there's these um, Purex Complete 3-in-1 little um, pad things. I guess they're the same. You just throw them in with the wash and it just washes it for you. Uh, I guess they're easier to transport, so that'll work out great. Um, I may try those this year. So I guess I'll, I'll, I'll update you on if that works or not. And then we're going to pan over here and white shirts for scouts at least. We, that's pretty much all we wear. Tons of white shirts. Some of these are cutoffs. They pretty much go to garbage after like the season. But um, you just turn them into cutoffs and you just wear them for rehearsals. You wear them everywhere. White shirts. Can't go wrong. Of course, you need your instrument. For me, obviously, it's a trumpet. We're going to scroll over. We have shoes. Get yourself two good running shoes. For me, I use the K-Swiss tubes. Um, I, I love them. I, they work great for me. Uh, it's very individualized though for shoes because your feet are going to be different from pretty much everyone else's. Uh, have some shower shoes. Don't go barefoot. You're, that's a way to lose your feet. Don't do that. Keep your feet clean uh, off the ground, off those random schools that you're staying at for a night. Uh, get yourself a good cheap pair of like this, this rubber kind of material slides or uh, Crocs. I have a pair of Crocs that I don't have out right now, but uh, the Crocs, I can't complain about. It has a back on it. They're not going to be slipping and sliding. It's great. They're closed toed. Uh, works great. So just something cheap like that. Two pairs of running shoes. Need them. Like, they're, they're essential. Two, because sometimes it rains. So, uh, you, while one dries out, you're wearing the other. You get the point. Uh, shower towel. Just a stock shower towel. I don't know what else to say. Um, now sleeping. So there's a few different meth ways to do this, all right? So I always have, uh, I have a small little blanket that I keep on the bus. Um, sometimes I bring this one on the bus too. It's just a stock blanket. Um, so this one's really tiny though. So I have my blanket. Um, I use this, this little self-inflatable camping sleeping bag. Uh, I've been in Boy, I was in Boy Scouts a long time ago. I uh, did a lot of camping. You can't really go wrong with these. They self-inflate. You just roll them up, put them in the bag. It's great. I uh, got your pillow. This, my sleeping bag, I would recommend getting a stuff sack like this. All you got to do is just whoop, unzip that, open it up, and you can just, just pull it right out. No rolling up needed. You just shove it back in, and you're good to go for uh, whenever you need to move out of, that, of your housing site and get on the go. It's great for moving fast and getting to and from blocks um, from sleeping. So, uh, socks. Big deal in drum corps. Without socks, um, if you only have a few pairs of socks, 
uh, you're gonna you're probably gonna die. I have new ones. Uh, well, these are just the crew tall tall ones for anything, but these um, are just the no shows, the classic no shows. I just have tons of these black socks. Always get black because you don't want to be disgusted on your white socks turning like yellow or some stupid color. Yeah, these are great. Uh, just tons of them. Literally, just if you think that I, I don't know how many pairs to tell you, but if you think that you may not have enough, just go ahead and grab one more pack of them. You just can't go wrong with that many socks. You need them. Um, so for packing this all in, you're going to need just a medium sized suitcase. This is what I used in 2015. It's great. It has a little pouch right there so you can put some uh, clothes that you need for the next day in there. Um, you can keep everything packed away. I like you can separate them with these little straps. Uh, you have a little pouch right here that you can keep like something in like maybe chargers or something. It has wheels. Uh, I like these because they can scroll and you can like, I'll show you real quick. You can set it up like this. And you can just push it all around like this, sideways, front ways, back ways. It works great. Um, it's great for moving quickly. You always want to have a, like a piece of duct tape or something on there with your name on it so that doesn't get confused with the other members. All right, so now we go to section shorts. Uh, for scouts, we have to have these New Balance 5-inch um, inseam short shorts. I love them. Absolutely love them. No complaints. They're comfortable. You don't need um, underwear with them. I know that may seem weird, but... That's fine. Um, so these are great. Uh, the section shorts are awesome. I have one pair of regular black shorts. Black is a recurring theme, obviously, with you know my backpack and suitcase and all this. You're black, you know, you can't see if it's dirty or not necessarily, and it just kind of goes with everything. Um, just black shorts. I won't necessarily wear these a lot, just maybe to sleep. Uh, but section shorts all the way. Running shorts, whatever, you, what have you. Uh, compression shorts. I have a few pairs of compression shorts there for whatever I need. Um, now we're going to move into like toiletries. So as you can see there, I kind of have like deodorant. You got your um, toothbrush, toothpaste. Uh, if you have any like prescription medications or like ibuprofen, anything. Uh, I have this little bag. It works great. It has a few different pouches. Um, it just kind of goes with you. Easy to pack up. Easy to fit everything in there. It's great. Um, then I have a few different uh, sorts of odds and ends over here. Um, well, don't forget shampoo. I don't have that out right now, but shampoo, essential. Don't. It's hard to explain because obviously being a guy, it's different for me, but I just use shampoo the whole summer. I don't really use body wash. Uh, shampoo just kind of washes everything anyway. So, all right. So for the bus, I have this little neck pillow. Works great. Uh, whenever you're trying to sleep and you're nodding off, your neck can kind of get hurt if you're like sleeping all weird. Neck pillow supports your neck. It's great. Uh, here, ibuprofen. Tons of ibuprofen. Spring training is going to hurt. Um, aloe, obviously spring training is going to hurt. So you need to protect yourself from the sun. Sunscreen, I don't have that out because I don't really use it very often. But I will bring a small bottle of maybe 50 SPF or so uh, to keep my skin just slowly into that getting tan part and just trying to protect from the UV rays. You don't want cancer. But the aloe after sun gel, great. Don't put that on before you go out in the sun. You put that on, it's going to fry you. That is specifically for after sun. It literally says after sun. But I say this because I know people who have done that in 2015 that I marched with who put on after sun before they went out for the next block. They roasted. Don't do that. Gold bond. Spring training is going to hurt. I said it again. I'm like a broken record. Uh, can't go wrong with gold bond. Um, Sudafed uh, or any allergy medicine because you never know in different states there's different pollens there's different plants you never know what you're going to be allergic to and what you're not uh, I always carry the Sudafed PE it's great um, easy to get over the counter um, just kind of all symptoms all ranges keeps you cleared up uh, during spring training I use these vitamin C packets keeps you healthy gives you an extra vitamin boost they're great they taste good you just pour them in with breakfast so you take one a day and it gives you your vitamins for the day it uh, keeps you healthy um, ankle wrap just in case something happens just uh, like to be prepared uh, athletic tape just in case again like to be prepared duct tape I prefer the gummy bear duct tape honestly uh, you never know what you're gonna need it for this year I will be having a GoPro or rather a Vivitar whatever that is um, I'll be taking that on tour with me so that's great uh, something small get your charging cables the core and your friends will love you if you have one of these. Get a power strip, get a little strip like this, get an extension cord. You'll be like the most popular person ever. It's great. 
battery pack, external battery pack. Um, they're not too, they're like 20 bucks. They're great. Um, this little electronics organizer thing uh, for your cables. I have several cables out, probably more than I need, but I like to be prepared. Um, I have lots of these little things for um, charging. Never can go wrong with that. I have my earbuds, both wireless and wired, just in case. Earplugs. Uh, I had an incident in 2015 where my ears were bleeding because um, you end up playing really loud. But it's hard to play whenever you have earbuds or earplugs in because you can't really hear. But uh, it's always nice to have ear protection just in case. Um, a little Nalgene bottle possibly for the bus ride whenever you don't want to have your um, jug with you. This is just easy to keep in your seat. You can make Gatorade or something with it. It's great. Uh, Q-tips. I'm always one. I always like clean out my ears. I can't have them like dirty and stuff. So um, I always love having Q-tips on them. I'll put them in a plastic bag later. Uh, a little pair of scissors. Um, you never know what you're going to need those for. Uh, a lot of people forget nail, nail clippers. Uh, bring nail clippers. They're really cheap. Uh, maybe a pair of tweezers too, just in case. I'm also this year bringing uh, a hair clipper set. Um, I mean, you gotta do your hair at some point during the summer, right? So hair clippers, uh, somebody in your core is gonna have them, but I like to be that person who has them. So <laughs> always be prepared with that aspect of things. So that um, wraps up that section of this. As you can see, it's just kind of all neatly laid out and organized. Always do that, print off a list that your core uh, maybe has in their core memos or something. Uh, always have that out and ready. Be checking off, double check things. Um, yeah, it's expensive, but honestly, um, you gotta have all this stuff. It's just essential. Um, oh, maybe I didn't go through my bus box. So my bus box, that's what goes on your bus, um, underneath your seat. I have these bungee cords, a whole bag of bungee cords. Uh, that you can hang stuff from the ceiling, like you're gonna need that. So get bungee cords. Um, obviously money, uh, I'm not going to say how much is there, but keep it in a Ziploc bag, keep it separate, uh, don't ever have all of your money in one place, bad things could happen, um, that's just unfortunately how the world works. More pencils, a toothbrush, a comb, uh, you can keep your electronics in here on the bus, um, anything that you want in your bus box, you'll have. Uh, I just like to have this small little box that fits perfectly under the seat, nothing to worry about. So, now I think that's everything that I need. Um, yeah, so just have everything laid out whenever you're packing and that should about do it. So I hope this helps a little bit. Um, it's just a lot. It's, it's hard to do. It's overwhelming, but the best thing to do is just be organized with it. Like I have everything just laid out everywhere, just all laid out. I have a checklist, uh, make that checklist, check it a couple times, like freaking Santa Claus. Um, it's great. Um, tips, you can never have too many socks unless it's bulging out of your freaking bag. Um, use common sense with that. Um, sunscreen, hats, sunglasses. Sunglasses are imperative, I think, but don't get sunglasses tan, obviously. But uh, chargers, I think I covered everything. So if you have any questions, comment on this. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. Um, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this, I hope it helps. Um, sorry for being so long, but I had to cover everything. Uh, I like to be pretty thorough with all this stuff. I'm sure maybe I probably forgot one or two things, but for the most part, this is the general stuff. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave me some likes or comments if you have any questions, comments, concerns. And um, thanks for watching, guys.